Hey people, it's Nias Toki. Now I saw this on an Instagram post talking about a famous inventor. This man is called Granville T. Woods. Now this is the first time learning about this guy, reading this article, so we're both going to learn about him together. Granville T. Woods invented incubator, multiplex telegraph, telegraphony, and third rail. Granville Taylor Woods was an African-American inventor, and the first African-American to be a mechanical and civil engineer. Woods was born in Columbus, Ohio in 1856 to a Native American mother, an African-American father, which made him a child of mixed race. He attended school in Columbus until he was 10 years old, after which he became an apprentice to learn how to be a machinist and blacksmith. In 1872, at the age of 16, Woods worked as a fireman at the Danville and Southern Railroad in Missouri. In 1876, he moved to the city of Springfield in Illinois, where he worked at the Springfield Ironworks. He may have gone to college to study mechanical and electrical engineering from 1876 to 1878, but this is not documented and therefore uncertain. After finishing college, Woods got a job on a board a British ship called Ironsides, where he quickly rose through the ranks to become the chief engineer. He then returned to America and took up a job as an engineer with the Dayton and Southern Southwestern Railroad in Ohio. His interest in railways persisted throughout his life, and many of his important inventions centered around it. He worked at Dayton for a little more than a year, and then started his own business as an electrical engineer in Cincinnati, Ohio. Here he designed, manufactured, and sold electrical equipment. It was during this period that he began his career as an inventor. His first patent was for a steam boiler furnace to which he had made several improvements. Another important invention was a device called telegraphony, which was a combination of telephone and telegraph, and allowed telegraph stations to send voice as well as telegraph messages all in a single wire. The rights to this invention were sold to Alexander Graham Bell of Bell Labs, and the money allowed Woods to stop worrying about his financial situation and focusing solely on inventing like he wanted to do. One of his most important inventions was a synchronous multiplex railway telegraph, also known as the induction telegraph, a device which allowed moving trains to communicate with stations via voice. This allowed better synchronization and coordination, and also helped in hazard identification and management, such as potential problems on the tracks and changing routes if necessary. After Woods has patented it, Thomas Edison filed a lawsuit against him, claiming that he had invented this first. Woods was successfully able to defend his patent in court, and Edison later approached Woods to take him on as a partner. This offer, however, was refused by Woods. He was started referring to him as Black Edison because of his significant achievements in the same field as Edison. No, he wasn't the Black Edison. He was Granville T. Woods. He is an inventor and person in his own right, not a black version of somebody else. Woods then reorganized his business, calling it Woods Electric Co., and taking on his brother Lyatt Woods as a partner. Here, Woods designed some of his most important adventures, such as an overhead conducting system for electric railways, that is, an apparatus to provide electric power to railways. He had inventions in fields other than electrical engineering and railways as well, for instance, an egg incubation device. In all, he held more than 50 patents over his lifetime. He was remarkable not only for being one of the foremost African-American engineers and inventors and for his contributions to the field of railway technology and communication, but also because he was largely self-taught. Granville T. Woods died on January 30th, 1910, in New York City at the age of 53. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. If you want to donate to the GoFundMe, I'll leave that there. If you want to find my um, Instagram, I'll leave that there as well. And I'll leave the source in the description so you can read it. Peace, family.